Hey, you folks. K1GMM, Kilo One Golf, Mike, Mike, Steve, the maniac in Vermont. We are going to go through how to dec decode FT8 using SDR Sharp and a spy server without a radio connected to the computer. So uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, Al G7RHF, this morning about this, so I figured I'd do a video uh, about how to get it to work. So here we go. You need to download... SDR Sharp, you can do this with a web SDR, uh, but it all has to do with a sound card. You need to plumb the audio to FT8 from whatever you're using, whether you're using a web SDR or SDR Sharp and a Spicer and accessing a spy server. So the first thing I want to walk you through, get yourself a copy of SDR Sharp. You can download it free, learn how to use it. I'm not going to, I'm going to walk you through a few things here. Um, uh, once you get SDR Sharp installed, uh, you'll see right here, uh, source. If that looks like that, click click it so it points down. And it'll open this little sub window here. And now you need to click on this box and you need to navigate to spy server network. Okay. Now what we need to do is go find a spy server. So this is what we're going to do. Go to spy server status map. And you'll see a list of servers on the left-hand side. Scroll down. I'm going to just choose mine. Some of these are not HF enabled. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to find one. And if, to find out whether it is or not, just left-click on a particular server. Scroll down. Minimum frequency zero. Maximum frequency 30 megahertz. So this is mine is an HF uh, uh, spy server. Uh, pretty much 160 through 10 meters. So um, what you want to do at that point is you see the IP address for the spy server. You'll see a little clipboard here. Left click on that only once. It's, it's not going to do anything, but go ahead and left click on it. Close this and then in this window, right click and paste that IP address and everything in. You're going to see a little C pop up. It says connect. Uh, go ahead and click that or click the play button and it'll take off running, okay? Uh, so there we go. Uh, next thing you will need to do is set your frequency and band for whatever you want to work uh, monitor or decode FT8 on. So I'm on 20 meters, so 14.074.000. Next thing, make sure you're on USB. The next thing you need to do is come down to AGC, and if you're using, make sure the threshold is low enough to pass the audio, okay? To make sure it's uh, set, I would set it at 60 to start with, 60 or 70, minus 60, minus 70. Uh, you can always go up from there to quiet the receive down a little bit. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, go ahead and stop the server. You want to come down to audio. You want to select your audio card. So whatever audio card you have in the computer, you want to select that card. So I have multiple cards in here, so ignore all this stuff. So um, you want, if you're running a Realtek card, you want Realtek High Definition Audio. Go ahead and select that. Restart the server. Now, if you, if you have that set correctly, you should hear um, audio coming out. Tickers, okay. So I'm actually going to take, I was listening through headphones. So if that's set correctly, you should have audio coming out of your speakers. Now, the next step is to go to, let me, uh, is to go to, I'm going to change my panel here. Let's go to desktop left. Okay, bottom right-hand corner, your speaker icon. Right-click on this. Select Recording Devices. It's going to open another window. It says Sound. This is for a Windows computer. I'm running Windows 7. Um, and it's going to open the Recording tab. You want the Recording tab. Scroll down until you see Stereo Mix. You want to make sure that is enabled. Right-click. Click Enable. Okay. And from that point, 
what you can do is you can go over to the slider and check to see if it's hearing anything on SDR sharp. So you can bring the slider down, see if it does disappear, bring the slider all the way up, and there you go. Okay, so it's hearing. So right click again on stereo mix. Properties. Make sure listen to the device is checked. And you want to play back through whatever sound card that you use using back, in other words, through your speakers or whatever. Okay. So um, and then just click apply and okay. And there you go. Okay, so that should do it on that. So now what we need to do is we need to go to FT8. So I'm going to go ahead and go to FT8. I'm going to launch it fresh. Let me make sure I'm on the right panel here. I am. So let's launch FT8. Now, if you have a radio connected, it's going to prompt you for a connection, a cat cat connection to that radio. To disable that, my radio is not running. This is basically a headless uh, decode, what I would call a headless decode. No radio involved, strictly software. Go to File, Settings, go to Radio, under Rig, click this, just select None, okay? Uh, it's going to ask you, prompt you for a PTT method if you try and close it. If nothing selected, so just click Vox. Click OK. Actually, you don't even have to click OK yet. Now for audio. Now, if you did everything right, you're going to see sound card input. You want your input, select this, mix in there. So you want to select that. And output, of course, you want the whatever, because you're not transmitting, you're just going to monitor. Pretty much doesn't matter um, where, where you set that. But, um, because that's mostly to drive, so you can set that wherever you want, but, but the input is a critical one because it's not going to decode if it's not listening to it. So, stereo mix, uh, you should be all set, click OK, and you should be off and running. Um, as you can see, it's decoding. Uh, check this area over here. Uh, this is your receive. And if it's not, if it's way, way, way down, you can increase the volume on the slider on SDR Sharp. And if it's in the red, like I'll show you what happens if it's too hot, see how it goes red? You can just bring the volume back on SDR Sharp and you're off and running. All right, man. I uh, enjoyed the show. And I will catch you guys uh, somewhere, someplace, sometime. 7-3, all the best. And I'll uh, catch you on the next stream. Uh, thanks for watching. And subscribe if you want to be notified of streams. Uh, anytime I'm streaming, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And click the little bell icon, which will give you notifications when I'm scheduling a stream. 7-3, uh, all. Catch you later. Happy New Year. K1GMM.